been true. Turn around and look at me while I talk to you. Yes. What are these abominable graves? No daughter of mine shall be placed so low. My dream for you is to be number one at school and go to Harvard University. No, don't worry. I got a plan. You go to cram school every day from 6 to 9 p.m. You will be perfect in no time. As you can see, although craft schools may sound like a perfect solution for improving one's grades, they're actually not so perfect to your body. On one hand, these after-school lessons can actually benefit your academics, but they actually are very damaging to a teenager's body, often lacking nutrients that are essential to one's health. They also lead to eating unhealthy foods just for convenience. In Taiwan, cram schools are called Bushi Ban. They are after school classes students take for educational purposes. Taiwanese cram schools teach a wide range of subjects, mostly including math, English, and Chinese. In the research done by Su Yan Chen and Luo Lu for the magazine Adolescence, approximately 73% of the student population in Taiwan attends academic enrichment programs after school and 49.1% attends private cram schools regularly. How do you think students achieve from taking cram school? The biggest use of students is the quality of the students. Just this is the quality of the students. The quality of the students can be better. The quality of the students can be better. How does the grade average for the kids and the rate of improvement? But the average should be better. 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 However, a lot of cram schools seemingly raise their students' grade, part of the time spent in cram schools. According to our interviewee, at least 200 students go to that one cram school. For local school students, after a typical school day, from 7.30 to 4, they often go straight to cram school. How long does an average student spend in cram school? And from what time to what time? Just once. Average students have two times. Average students have three hours. Do you think cram school hurts your physical well-being? It's definitely harmful. Yes, it's harmful to your physical or mental health. It's definitely harmful. Contradicting what their teacher said, students are actually skipping meals and eating junk food. Here we have done a poll of us students and way the cram school of mathematics eat for their dinner. The majority of them eat foods from 7-Eleven, and almost all of them drink sugary drinks, and some actually skip meals. Their reasoning? 7-Eleven is the most convenient location for them to buy their food. For many of them go to cram school directly after school without stopping by other places. But what real nutrition value does it hold? This is around 700 milliliters of fluid, but for every 100 milliliters, there's 102 calories. Total that's 700 calories, and that's about a third of what a student should consume each day. In order for the brain to function well, a student should consume lots of vitamin B and folic acid, which can generally be found in fruits and vegetables. However, here, none of that is present, except for maybe a single piece of lettuce. And while both of these have acceptable amounts of sodium and protein added together for two meals, that's way over the amount of sodium you need. As shown, the foods most cram school students have been eating are not exactly ideal. Most cram school students are still growing, but without the proper nutrition and vitamins, how are they to grow healthily? And so the message to you is, if you do plan on going to cram school, continue to watch your health. While health may not seem like such a big deal and grades may seem much more important at times, nothing is more paramount than having a strong body to hold through. <laughs>